Hello and welcome to Off the Mountain, the most confused channel in all of everything. Anyway, so I've had some interesting problems. And thank you so much for the 90 subscribers that we have now. Uh, I keep saying we, like there's like, it, there's, there's nobody here, it's just me. Um, you'll see that we have a little bit of stuff here on the hood. Uh, that's a gasket for the oil uh, block sender unit thing, whatever. Um, it's leaking apparently, because of course it is. Uh, however, um, today we're gonna do a short one. Uh, we're gonna talk about cleaning the little iDrive thing, because this thing, I've been, look, there's a bunny. There's a bunny. I have been having a problem with this thing. This, I, this thing pisses me off. Um, I have been fighting this fight now for a while where that menu button doesn't work. Uh, you push on it, you push on it, you push on it, and, and, it, and it feels like somebody spilled like a gallon of Coke in there. Uh, whoops, sorry. Uh, so we're gonna, we're gonna take that apart. No idea what I'm expecting on that, but I do have a few tools ready. Um, mostly just a detail brush, uh, kind of a stiff bristle brush or like $3. So uh, we're gonna see what goes on with that. But uh, we've also got some bad news. Uh, I got some bad news. Uh, as you can see, I've got, what, what? Why, is, why is the seats out? Well, I made myself an idiot trophy. Yay, clap, 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 clap. Um, we'll get to the iDrive here in just a second, but this is the sword in the stone. Yep, I had to remove this knuckle because I don't know if you can see, right there yeah that little guy that little guy look at him holy crap i didn't even know that would fall out like that but yep that's um that's what happened so that's going on the wall of shame uh but you can see in there that's all messed up so we had to get another one which we have everything's good uh and we're also going to whoa not fall and well i've already got a new one it's in there um it's sort of loosely in there right now uh, but I've got the e-brake cable uh, already ran, which is fantastic. So, anyway, on to the cleaning. Uh, we're gonna use the magic of editing, and we're gonna be, um, we're gonna have that thing out. Cool. I can't believe this, look at this. This is, this is what happened. Oh my God. Anyway, that's another, that's another video. I'm gonna show you how to take apart your iDrive. Uh, I took this thing completely apart and I'm, I'm in, the, in the process of rebuilding it. And it's not that bad, it's not that bad. Uh, you've got one little guy here, uh, it's a T9. Uh, you need those for the back of the screws. Um, I have here the smallest screwdriver in the history of mankind. It's, it's a, it is a flathead, it is not a, uh, not a Phillips. And I have a fly. It's, hanging around and uh, ratchet I ended up not needing this this was fine um, there's a hundred other videos out there on showing you how to get this out and and replace it I'm gonna show you how to repair yours uh, because a previous owner had pretty much spilled um, I, I don't know what but it was like the menu button just wasn't working so I took this thing apart uh, you can see there's a whole lot of parts and pieces but let's break this down uh, so first things first let me pop this up here and give you a nice view. So, first you've got this piece that sits around it. Uh, it's held in by a whole bunch of clips all the way around. Really easy to pop out, and I'll show you that here in a second. Um, that just kind of fits, let's see, I think kind of, yeah, kind of like this around this carrier. So you just, and you can do this with your hand, like I literally did this with my hand, I just popped it right out. So this allows you to get to the larger mechanism. You have to pop this guy out next. Now, um, unfortunately I haven't cleaned this guy up. You can still see, I don't, well hopefully on camera, there's, there's like these little dots of stuff everywhere. This is where, I, I'm pretty sure they spilled like Coke all the way down it. Um, but I'm, I'm gonna clean this up before I put it back together. But the button, the button was fine in, in operation. So that wasn't the problem. What was the problem? Uh, so these little screws here go into the back. Uh, you pull the, you, you pop those out. Uh, I was able to do them by hand. Um, and then I cheated a little bit and used the old ratchet, but whatever, your mileage may vary. Um, but the big thing with that is, you, uh, this is still, st there's sticky, sticky stuff all over the stupid thing. I, I haven't cleaned this yet. So on the edge here, but notice that there's these two 
clips on both sides. We'll reassemble this uh, so you can see, see it in, in the other operation. Um, and then you've got this mechanism that's got all your, all your buttons. Um, you can pop these out. So in here, uh, I pop the menu button out uh, specifically. You can see that there's clips on the bottom and the top with a little nub going through. You just get this little guy in here, just get him in there and pop, pop, it comes right out. Uh, it was not hard at all. And I did that with the, um, with the tell and the nav button too. The, the radio and CD seemed to be okay, so I didn't, I didn't mess with that. Uh, then I took it inside, put it in a little detergent bath, and by that I mean Dawn um, and hot water. Uh, switched it around, and that's when I cracked out this bad boy. So I took this, uh, cleaned him out all over the place, uh, did the same thing to this because this carrier is also also had garbage all over the place. Now it's nice and clean. <clears throat> now I'm gonna I'm gonna cut scene and I'm gonna go in and try to clean this up a little bit because I am worried about these uh, getting messed up. Now you'll see that there's no garbage on these, which is why I think I can repair this just fine and there's no big deal. Um, I could take this apart further, probably, um, but I don't feel confident in, in taking this, this piece off. I can see a few, a few items that are like, I could probably pry that off, but let's, let's not tempt fate. Uh, I'm trying to save money, not spend money. So on this guy here, we're gonna cut scene. We're gonna go clean him up a little bit. I'm just gonna wipe around him and then we'll see what happens. Okay, so let's go ahead and start putting him back together. Let's put this guy on, like so. So there's a couple little nubs there that kind of, uh, you know, want to make sure that it's, you know, working well. Uh, I got these, got this one here on the bottom. Let's go ahead and put him in. There's a couple little guides here on the edge. I don't know if you can see that real well. Uh, those are kind of helpful. And so now we're going to take our top very gently kind of put him on there and he just kind of sits on there like that uh and now yes oh that's so, oh that's so good oh my god that's so good uh now this guy goes on so the bottom the, so this little cutout here goes on the bottom i think yep that just clips right back in there uh, that looks fan-freaking-tastic. Now let's put the screws back in. And at this point, you're home free. Um, so again, you want to pull these pull these guys out. Oh yeah, and on this, on this thing too. So again, this thing fits on the top of him like that. And those are just clips. Just pop those clips off. Pop, 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 pop. Just whoop, off he goes. Pull the four screws on the bottom. And then that just kind of comes right out and then you need oops i've already secured this so you want to pop this guy out it's nice and simple oh, there we go just nice and easy on this guy all right do the other side nice and easy you don't want to use a lot of force i'm not using much force at all so that comes out this thing you just kind of wiggle 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 oh so there there's two clips here sorry so pop him Pop him, and ta-da, you're, you're all open. So anyway, uh, let's go ahead and put him back together. Put that back on here. Dinner and a show, everybody, dinner and a show. That's cool. And now I'll just go ahead and do this off camera because nobody cares because whatever, just put this guy in. Like I said, you can use your hand for this. Like I just kind of start spinning him in. Just like nice and easy. nothing fancy about him. Now, I did notice that when I took it apart, you'll notice it. See, there's a little bit of a gap here at the backside. Um, I, I'm going to do a cross pattern on this um, just because I think it's trying to tell me something. So again, your mileage may vary. Uh, it's up to you. I'm just hoping this saves somebody money because these things are freaking expensive. Um, I looked at new ones and I was like, oh, I'll get a new one. That'll be great. Oh, ha, 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 ha. Okay, maybe not. So, guess what? We're here uh, fixing fixing other people's problems. And really, these don't require much force. And I'm just having a problem because I'm a Neanderthal and I don't 
and you do not want to tighten them down too much. I'm actually looking at the at the edge here to see once they meet up, I'm stopping. If I can actually, there it is. See how there's no gap now? That's where I'm stopping. I'm not doing any more than that. I'm gonna go back to the first one, do the exact same thing. And you'll feel a little bit of tension on that. Uh, like I said, you don't want much. I don't want to crack this and you know strip the threads and all this kind of garbage um, and then hate life and have to buy another one anyway. But that's kind of the point, right? Um, I was sort of in a situation where if this wasn't going to work, I was going to have to buy a new one anyway. So here we are. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this guy up. So like I said, you can just do this by hand. Like I've almost got this one in. There we go. Go to the other one. Yes, you could use tools. Uh, you could use like, you know, a little drill and, and I've got one, I've got one right here, but I don't, I, I'm sort of gun shy on those right now because, well, I, I, that issue that you're gonna see um, later was because I used an impact, I think. I think that's why it caused the problem, but we'll, we'll find out in due time. Uh, I gotta go to, gotta go to the Steeler ship tomorrow maybe Tuesday, whenever the part shows up. Uh, they were nice enough to order me the last one in North America. So, yay. Because apparently everybody and their brother hates the all-wheel drive. It's okay. Everybody hates the coupe too. I like the coupe. All right, there we go. So now we take this little guy, put him over top, clickety-clack. There you go, and Ah, the menu button, yes. That was not operating before. So, we're gonna put this back in and stay tuned. All right, moment of truth. This, ah, oh, this feels so good. This feels way better than it did. Everything feels like it moves. So let's hope I didn't dork it up. Oh, yay, okay, so far so good. Oh, that's, oh, that's good stuff. Okay, okay. Oh, oh, that's so nice. That's so nice. CD, because that's cool. Um, tell. Oh, call mom and dad. Yeah, that's right. Oh, this is so good. Oh, this is, this makes me a happy guy. Oh, this is so great. Okay, um, yay, that, <laughs> thumbs up. Thumbs up, go me. Um, I highly recommend this. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. I, I mean, like, comment, subscribe, all that sort of stuff. Yeah, do that. Because I, I don't know why. I don't know why. Leave, leave a comment why. Anyway, catch y'all later.